talk a little bit about your your journey this year and where you came from from the start of the season to picturing yourself in the second round of the playoffs? Yeah, obviously for myself it was a bit of a crazy year, obviously starting just on an AHL deal in Providence and then finishing the year here. So um, definitely, definitely came a long way this year. I thought parts of my game really took a, a big step forward and I was really happy with how the year ended. Which parts of your game do you think took the biggest step forward? Um, well, I think just like once I got here, the confidence and knowing that I can play this level, I always had the, the belief I could, but obviously I'd never had done it. So um, that part of it, and obviously I think just getting to be a better pro, being around these guys every day and getting to learn from them is a, is a big thing. And you had that uh, wrist injury kind of late in the season. How tough a roadblock was that for you to kind of mentally get over that and, and have your, you know, the, the carrot dangling there of the playoffs? Yeah, it's obviously tough. I think that's the first time I've ever in my career had an injury where it's kind of sidelined me for any length of time. So um, obviously it was tough. I thought I was kind of getting going, getting more comfortable with my game and kind of building in the right direction. And then that happened. And obviously you want to be able to play in the playoffs. And that's something you've, you've dreamt your whole life of doing. So it was definitely tough, but I was happy I was able to get back and play a couple of games. Guys talk about the jump from the AHL to the NHL and then from the NHL to playoffs. So you experienced both those jumps in one year. Mm -hmm. What was that like for you? Yeah, it's crazy. Obviously, the the jump is is definitely big. There's a, it's a lot faster up here. Um, guys are on top of you a lot quicker, and then in the playoffs, it's even more. And I think it was the first game was a bit of a surprise when, not surprise, but it definitely was a big jump from the regular season, especially having been off for a month. But um, I thought I adjusted pretty well, and you know, I was happy with that. And what are your goals now this summer for getting ready for training camp? I think it's just the same as I've been doing every summer. I just you know try to put in the work and make sure I'm ready to come September um, to do my best and you know start the season. Did you ever reach a level of comfort here? I guess you know between the injury and having to move up so quickly. Did you ever you know feel like you got to a point where you were comfortable with yourself at this level? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think by the end I was pretty happy with where my game was. Um, Obviously, these guys make it really easy to feel comfortable. Uh, I've been here for the last two summers with them getting to know them a little bit. So coming in, it wasn't too stressful. I knew a lot of the names and faces. So, um, but they did a really good job making me feel comfortable every single day. Can you tell me you think your power of room helped you make that transition this year? Yeah, it's a lot easier when you come in and you know you have people to talk to, and you're not just kind of off in your own corner, not not being able to talk to anybody. Um, they they were great. Mark, she's a, you know the best captain in the league for making guys feel welcome and comfortable, and uh, I'm really thankful for them. Justin, uh, playing the Florida Panthers, such a physical team, how is that experience going to benefit you going forward? Because I, I, everybody seems to have to recalibrate the, the ball battles and everything and what what the enforcement standards are going to be and how to negotiate all of that and battle for the pocket. How is that going to help you going forward, that experience? Yeah, it's big. I mean, playoff hockey is a lot more physical than the regular season, and especially against a team like that where we're battling for every single inch out there. So. Um, uh, yeah, it's definitely good. Uh, I, I like that type of hockey. I think that suits kind of my game, being able to, you know, use my size to my advantage. So it was, it was definitely nice. Uh, speaking of size, um, the storyline on you was that you used to. That you, we're looking at a streamlined version of the player that was with the Marlies. And uh, how was that overplayed at all, or do you feel like? Uh, you did go through a drastic change, and and what do you have to say to people who are trying to make changes physically that to help their game? Because some people it doesn't work out, or it doesn't work out right away. They have to figure it out for a year or something. I mean, what was it like for you to to, to go through a, a you know say okay, I'm going to be this, but I'm not going to be it this way? Yeah, I mean, I definitely went through a change. I think uh, after my time in Toronto, I wasn't really sure what was going to happen, so I think I kind of let it get away from me a little bit, and I definitely had to make some changes in order to be here. Um, but yeah, I mean, anybody that wants to make the change, they can. You just have to put the time and the work in and make sure you're focusing on the right things. It's not just in the gym. It's, you know, away from the rink and off the, like, making sure your, your habits and your eating and stuff is, is, is doing well. Because I usually think of hockey, you guys, you know, trying to get keep the calories in, yeah. keep your weight up as the season drags along because it's, it's always asking so much of you yeah. physically. Yeah, I mean, it just, you get, everybody's different. You got to talk to the, they have so many people around here that are willing to help the nutritionists and stuff like that. Um, some people, it's about adding calories. Some people, it's probably about cutting out a few. So, yeah. yeah.